Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Ladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle window grills from CZT Dami Tang. I have been looking at this one for some time and I'm excited to, to do it. It is really, really neat. All right. starts off so this is it's essentially a grid pattern and as you will see in um my step out as well as uh, take a look at the for more inspiration like i'm going to start my outside grid here um and actually <laughs> i'm going to make sure that you can see the tip of my pen uh yes that's pretty good okay uh, I, I, you know, it's good to hold your pen like this but gosh is it hard to uh get the get the get the camera just so and because i'm working on a little bijou tile <laughs> it makes it even uh that much more challenging just to make sure just because it's kind of tiny all right so as i mentioned it's a grid pattern and do take a look at the links with the step outs uh especially the for more inspiration so you can see dammy's work and uh and also ideas for um, variations on this. All right, so following the initial step out, we're gonna put a big X in this. So it's gonna be like a grid on, um, like on on, a di on triangles, but you can just make your grid big. I would just make sure to leave enough room if you do a square grid first, and then you can you know put an X in each box. But again, you have to make it big enough uh, so that way you can work inside. Unless you like working small, that's okay. All right. Then pick a place to start. And on, so on the out this outside corner, what we're going to do is we're going to aim. We're going to put a little spiral. We're going to have the end come into the center. Okay, so uh, picking one side. And I'm going to pick this side. And I put a little curve in there just because. Now the way you know, let me do it the way the the step out is is designed because then there is uh, an uh, a, a variation or a fragment that I will show you afterward. Okay, so just doing it on the one side, turn in your tile each time makes it easy because you could do each triangle, and that's fine. It's up to you. For right now we'll just we'll do it this way again because it's easier all right so we've come from this will be the right side and again coming into the center now there is a little bit of having to think the other way around because what we're going to do is we're going to come from the opposite side and again into the center and if you notice on my step out on the first one, I did, I put some arrows just to help. Okay, so I put like an arrow coming out here. I like to come from the end and then, you know, well, usually touch or just barely, you know, touching or coming close to that, you know, to where we were. And then same thing on the, uh, the center line of the grid and then doing the spiral. I kind of channel uh, the tangle and the zeppel if you have done that, where you kind of are, you're fitting in a bubble into a space. So I, I kind of, like I said, channel that just a little bit because I'm like touching, touching, and then fitting the spiral in here. And one thing that I've also, I, that I found is, has been helping me is, it's like, how far out do I want to bring this curve, where do I want to start the spiral? And it's kind of like, well, wherever I started, then so like I'm coming up here and I'm almost eyeballing this just so that way it's similar. So if that helps you um, do that. All right. And essentially we're going to be flipping sides. This is also similar to the Tangle B Tweed if you have done that one. And I think I've done that one. I think I have a video on that. And in the For More Inspiration section, uh, Demi has uh, where she kind of alternates this and between, and she puts that comparison in there also. All right, so then, okay, so I've done this side, then this side, 
Now back to this side again. And we're just going to alternate. So it's the same idea. And again, turning the tile. And that's where you kind of get the uh, between idea is this alternating. And also, you know, kind of coming up to the point, it just happens that we're doing spirals. Okay, then once you've gone ar ar all the way around once, then we'll, again, same thing on the other side. This is a nice one. It's not necessarily hard, but it does take a smidge of concentration just to get things, um, you know, so that way the spiral kind of lines up and looks nice. And also that we're, you know, doing things on the right side. And there we have it. Now, remember, this is, well, you could use this just like this. You could have a, have a big section put an X in it and fill in a section this way, or you could use it in a larger grid as well. And again, looking at the For More Inspiration link, uh, Linda has that um, in her little thumbnail where you could do this, you know, again, smaller. Now, oh, for shading, this is kind of a, well, you know, it doesn't have to be a tricky one. We could have, oh, we could have some fun with this. Let's do... Well, number one thing is you could just fill in with the graphite behind or uh, solid with the, you know, with the pen. You could do that if you want. I'm thinking. Uh-huh. Which way do I, you know, it, it's just telling me to do it this way, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and uh, so I'm... I was tempted to go on the outside because that's what I would normally do. Yeah, you know, and some days um, it's just fun to not do something that you would normally do. Like I said, my brain immediately said, oh, let's do this. And then the other part of my brain said, oh, come on, let's do something a little different. I don't usually let that side of, of, of my uh, self, you know, have that much of the floor but when it comes to zentangle that's where I kind of say well okay you can have some fun but not not too much fun <laughs> all right so I'm gonna just um spread this out let me I think I'm gonna do it this way I was looking quickly for my thinner portion, and I might do something up with those uh, in those spirals in a second here. And then I want to share with you uh, something on the fragment side of this because there's more to it. That looks kind of neat, if I do say so. I haven't looked at the camera yet. Usually when you look at the camera, uh, it always looks even more amazing. And if, you know, just as, a, as a, an aside, but um, goes along with this, when you're tangling, sometimes taking a picture is a really great idea. Especially if you don't, you know, it's like, oh, I don't like it, or I just don't know what to do. I don't know where to go from here. Or you can go, you know, um, hold it up in front of a mirror. It just gives you a different perspective, and that is kind of neat. Mwah. Okay, so okay, and then the camera just automatically adjusts. Very nice. Okay. Oh, see, that's neat. And I'm thinking... Let's just do this. I'm going to use what's left on the tortillon. Oops. That might be too much. Just doing something on, just on the base of that. Oh, it's adding a little. 
sometimes you can kind of get a neat effect and it just depends on number one how much room you have and staying on one side of the line on so I'll just kind of I was I'm hoping to make them kind of look a little bit puffy I probably have to add a little bit more let me dim this yeah that, oh see see now you can see a little of the contrast so that's neat that's just one way you don't have to um, don't have to uh, shade it at all and like I mentioned you could also just you know fill in the background up to you all right so now thinking of this as a fragment and I will have uh, both of these um, links in uh, in the description section. So let's do this again. And let's say I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the my favoriteest one of these to do. Just so you get the you get the concept. All right, let's. Uh, let, I'm gonna stick with the with the X. And oh gosh, when I did that, hold on one second. Yeah, get a little focus in on there. Okay. So I'm still going to do an X. All right. Then, so, and here's what I did is thinking of, well, and we'll, and we'll just do one. I, 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 Thinking of this as a fragment. Now, the fragment is going to be just one section. So what you'll want to do is to pick which corner, and you don't have to do an X. You could do it, you know, in a in a cross if you wanted to as well. And I did have a, do have a sample of that, and so does uh, Dammy, because that's like, oh, there's a neat idea. So it doesn't have to be a triangle. All right. So picking a corner. I'm going to pick this corner. That's going to be my first one. All right. So then, so here's where the, the corner you pick, that's the corner where the spiral ends are going to go. So then, so I'm just going to do the one box at a time. Ooh, and let's see. Oh, I'm going to do it opposite. Wow, if I can. Opposite of what I did in, uh, no, no, it turned out really cute. So, yeah, never mind. Okay, because I just can't seem to get my hand to do this way first. So, spiral here. So then the ends are going to come from here and here. Those are going to be our starting points, and you're just going to alternate it. And, you know, seriously, feel free to turn your tile. Why am I being stubborn? Oh, because that's how I am. <laughs> and then alternating. Do as, you know, as many as you want. So you fill in the section as much as you want to or not. And I kind of like just having the four. Okay, so that is using it as a fragment. Understand you can, you know, whichever corner you want to have, and then you can just alternate it up. So like here, these all came into the center. Okay, so this one, I'm going to do the opposite corner. So I'm going to do this, this corner for this triangle, as I did, and I'm going to do this one. And I'm also going to alternate the direction that I started so that way we get this cute little mirror thing here. And so there's a that's a whole different thing that you could do is uh, you can have them going the same way or like like I'm doing where I'm alternating. Then, you know, you can, you, you can pick. It's up to you, whatever corner you want to have those in. And I'm just going to do it opposite here. So I'm going to do the same thing, just like I said, on the opposite side. And again, turn, your, you know, turn your tile so it's comfortable for you. I like, you know, planting the hand so that way you get this nice curve that is a sort of consistent that's that's where <laughs> i had to do that upside down for that um that's why i turn it 
And then, then when you do it backwards, then you just have to think for a minute. It's like, okay, in which direction? Oh, yeah, this direction. <laughs> and also, you know, if you're doing it mirror, you can kind of use what you've already done as a help. If you get a little lost, which, oh, and I've never done that. <laughs> and there we go. There we go. go well, there we can go both ways. So, it you know, it, it's neat. And you can have it do all kinds of neat things, whatever you want. Uh, just depends on how you use it. So, again, this was using it like a fragment. And just taking that, you know, wherever we're putting those spirals and you can, you, you know, put them wherever you want. Or, you know, having them all, you know, well, this is, it's, it's still the same thing, but these are all pointing in the middle. These are, you're just having fun with it. So the sky is the limit on this one, of course, for you. And you can have as much fun as you can possibly bear doing this. So it's such a neat tangle and uh, just, just super cool. And then. Yeah, and I'm I, I'm not sure. Oh, I I'm picturing you know ways to color this one in. Hmm, maybe I shall do that. I don't know. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do this just because I can't resist. Because I'm when I'm looking in the and this is why also I, I'm gonna reiterate the take a look at it in a mirror or in the camera because you might just get a really neat idea on how to shade or something. So I'm going to do those darker, these a little lighter. Let's see. Actually, I might just uh, put in some extra lines. This is kind of just like coloring it in, sort of. But let me accentuate it with what I'm thinking here. Sorry, sometimes I just get inspired. <laughs> and you just gotta go with it. There we go. That's what I that's what I was thinking. <laughs> and well, I might play a little bit uh, and fill in that background. We'll see. If uh if uh well you will have already known because you'll see the the, the cover. So Lots of fun to be had with this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would love to have a thumbs up, um, you know, or a like. And if, uh, feel free to share it. And if you liked it enough to maybe see more, would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. I can't resist, so I'm going to do it. Um, would love to have you be a subscriber to the, to the channel. Of course, that is free. And, uh, Again, in the description section, ways to connect with me. That is below the the links to the step outs. And would love to have you join me for, I do online classes. I do them weekly, actually twice a week. And I have most of them that are free <laughs> and some that are paid. And do look, if you are new to Zentangle, uh, if you're watching tonight, it's probably too late now, but... Um, I will be offering my Zentangle Essentials class, which taught where we talk about the actual method that is Zentangle. And I'm going to be offering it more often, um, at least, you know, um, say, you know, once a quarter or something like that. Maybe more if I get enough uh, requests for that one. Um, but I think it's important to stay grounded in uh, these, in, in what, what is the method. I mean, it's really cool to, to do all these cool patterns and stuff, but there is so much more behind it. And we like to talk about that there. So, again, would love to have you join us. And with that, as I finish coloring, thanks again for watching. I'll see how neat that's going to look. <laughs>
again for watching and I wish you happy tangling.